What's up, Collector hey. Crew? Um, coming at you today uh, with a bit of a different video. Mm -hmm. Maybe a PSA, if you will. But um, as you all know, uh, there's been a lot of controversy going around with Camp Fun Days, the online boxes, mm -hmm. the in-person boxes, um, the number numbered pop fiasco all of that um just wanted to come to you today to throw another uh wrinkle into that uh mm -hmm. whole thing so um yesterday i received uh my well i'll, I'll preface this unfortunately we were unable i jumped on you know very very slim hope that we would get any fun days uh, tickets for SDCC yeah. obviously did not happen mm -hmm. um, but you know given last year's run with the blacklight battle we were super excited mm -hmm. to be able to try to jump on uh, this past Friday and grab ourselves a box and um, Took time out of my work day, sat down at my computer, uh, was actually able to secure one. I know that's the whole other controversy, you know, but that's not new to anybody. People were having issues uh, actually securing the box of fun online. And then, you know, with some of the SDCC drops they had as well, people still haven't received their pops. Issues all over with Funko. But anyways, I was able to secure a box. I went ahead and picked uh, Team Lumberjack, so I was excited. Mm -hmm. um, and then leaks started to happen about what was dropping at Fun Days in San Diego. And I'm like, man, some good pops. Yeah, Captain America, Merlin, uh, Megatron. I mean, there, there was just there was a ton. Ron Weasley, just like a ton of yeah. stuff we have never never seen before. Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Badass. But anyways, um, so we were getting hype. Okay. Um, I received a package uh, from Funko yesterday. Box seemed a bit small. Open the box, and can you show them what we got? Okay, as you can see... Um, this is not the SDCC, or I'm sorry, not the SDCC, no. It's not the Camp Fun Days Box of Fun, the online edition. This is, I'm going to ruffle some feathers, but probably one of the most ridiculous pops I've ever seen um, that we ended up receiving in the mail. Yeah. Um, I verified on our UPS tracker, it, hey, the pictures, everything said that this was my box of fun that arrived in the mail yesterday. Okay, obviously, I reached out to Funko because this is ridiculous. Okay, um, they are fairly prompt with their responses. I got it back in less than 24 hours. Uh, and I'm going to read this to you because this did not make sense to me, and I'm sure it probably won't make sense to you all. So, from the Funko support team, I'm sorry you didn't receive your Camp Fun Days box of fun. We are happy to pr provide a replacement figure for this case. The individual replacement inventory available for the 2023 box of fun is a blind assortment of the mascot and Freddy Funko figures together. This means that they are selected at random during fulfillment and you may receive a Freddy or a mascot. We cannot guarantee which figure will be received and will not be able to request another replacement if you do not receive the one you were hoping for. Which is normal. If you would rather not receive another mystery figure from the 2020 uh, mystery figure from the 2023 box of fun as a replacement, we can move forward with refunding the full amount for that figure, $17.50. Please let me know which option you would prefer, and I'll happily continue to help you. Uh, 
I'll post that. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, shoot a screenshot so y'all can read through it at your leisure. Um, they kept mentioning figure, not figures. Yeah. I did respond back and let them know, hey, if you weren't aware, the box of fun came with two sodas, a mascot pop, as well as three additional Freddy Funko Pops. Um, and I can choose to that, or I can choose a refund of $17.50. So, I responded back. I will let you know. I just responded back probably about a couple hours ago. I'll let you know uh, with a follow-up video what they tell me. Um, but this is ludicrous. So... I know I'm speaking uh, from, obviously, uh, you know, more of a um, personal stance, if you will. But I know a lot of people have had, and I would have hate to be one of those people who dropped hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on tickets to fun days. You end up getting the Captain America Metallic that's noted as 250 piece and then people at home are getting the same pop that's labeled 2,000 pieces. Totally understand that, but at least you all got your box of fun. Mm -hmm. I will just leave it at that. Um, I will let you all know what transpires from this. Um, yeah, but that's basically all I have to say about that. So. Um, Collector Crew, appreciate you taking a couple minutes out of your day to uh, listen to the story. Um, unfortunately, it's it's a, a somber story, if you will. Yeah. So, we will see what happens. But, um, as always, Collector Crew, uh, keep an eye, an eye and ear out for the next videos coming up here. More, more mystery boxes, junk like that. Mm -hmm. And, as always, you have a great day, and we will see you in the next one. Later. Peace.